Under the Moon by Yoni Noguchi, read for LibriVox.org by Eva Davis. The autumn night had a sad, impressive beauty. I turned my face as a flower in indolence. The sweet mystery of indolence whispered me an alien legend. I, with lips apart, with the large mindless eyes, stood as one fresh from a fairy dream. The ecstasy of the dream was not yet dry upon my face. The strangest stillness, as exquisite as if all the winds were dead, surrounded me. I idly thought, what a poem, and what love were hidden behind the moon, and how great to be beyond mortal breath, far from the human domain. My moon fancy, aimless as a breeze of summer eve, drowsy as a rose of spring morning has passed my fancy was a fragrance as from an unknown isle where beauty smiled her favourite smile how glad i was being wounded by the beautiful rush of yellow rays the sad sobbing charm of the moon was that of the face of an ancient fairy the moon gracefully kept her perfect silence until a greater muse shall restore the world from demon sword and unworthy death. I was in the lullaby of the moon, as a tree snugly wrapped in the mist, I lost all my earthly thoughts. The moon was voiceless as a nun with eyes shining in beauteous grief. The mystic silence of the moon gradually revived in me the immortality. The sorrow that gently stirred was melancholy sweet sorrow is higher far than joy the sweetest sorrow is supreme amid all the passions i had no sorrow of a mortal heart my sorrow was one given before the human sorrows were given me mortal speech died from me my speech was one spoken before god bestowed on me human speech there is nothing like the moon night when i parted from the voice of the city Drink deep of infinity with peace from another, a stranger sphere. There is nothing like the moon night, when the rich noble stars and maiden roses interchange their long looks of love. There is nothing like the moon night, when I raise my face from the land of loss unto the golden air, and calmly learn how perfect it is to grow still as a star. There is nothing like the moon night when I walk upon the freshest dews, and amid the warmest breezes, with all the thoughts of God and all the bliss of man, as Adam, not yet driven from Eden, and to whom Eve was not yet born. What a bird dreams in the moonlight is my dream, what a rose sings is my song. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.